Hey peeps, what's going on? Uh, I know it's been a while since I made a v well a vlog. Uh, I just wanted to do a note from the universe for today, and I may do um a vlog a little bit later, but for now I just wanted to do a note from the universe. Okay, the one that came through on November 4th, for any of you that follow, you know, and get the notes from the universe, um, that one really struck a chord with me because it reminded me of something. I don't actually know if this is... Yeah, that looks okay. All right, it reminded me of something that I think is easy to forget, but very important to remember. And I'm going to read it to you, and then I'll talk about it a little bit. Be there, peeps. Go there now and never leave. Imagine that your dreams have already come true. Live your life from that mindset. Predicate. I thought that was a different word. I thought it was predict. <laughs> well, predicate your behavior on that reality. Is that how you say that word, babe? Predicate? I don't know if I'm saying that word the right way. I don't know. Predicate your behavior on that reality, not the illusions that now surround you. Filter every thought, question, and answer from there. Let your focus shift and be born again, because dwelling from, not upon, the space you want to inherit is the fastest way to change absolutely everything. See the difference? The universe. And then it goes on to say, All together now, peeps, because dwelling from, not upon, the space you want to inherit is the fastest way to change absolutely everything. Now, that struck such a chord with me that I was like, uh, as soon as I read it, I was like, I have to make a video on that. And the reason it struck a chord with me is because it's so easy to, to sit there and say, oh, this is what I want to attract. And focus on it and do your five minutes of, of visualization a day and focus on what you want in your life. And if you're not, like, it, it seems like so, I don't know. I don't know. Um, a lot of times when I'm working at um, the oil shop, I'll be in Lower Bay. And I haven't been working Lower Bay as much recently. But when I was, there would be moments where, okay, I'm waiting for a call or I'm waiting for my supervisor to get visuals or something like that. And I'll just stand there and I'll close my eyes for a minute and I'll imagine things. Um, imagine things that I want in my life. <laughs> the funny thing is, Years and years and years ago, I wanted uh, a blue Volkswagen bug, like uh, the Beetle or whatever. And I thought about it and thought about it and thought about it, and I wanted one and wanted one. And this was literally, I was probably a teenager, okay, so literally over a decade ago. And today my mom calls me and tells me she got a blue Volkswagen bug. And I'm like, wow, I don't even want that anymore, but... I'm not saying I attracted that for her, but it's funny how it showed up in my life, even a decade later. And I am a strong believer that the things that you dwell upon will come into your life. But the one thing, um, again, the other day, like probably five years ago, when the JP Cruiser started coming out, I was like, oh, I want a blue one. I want a blue JP Cruiser. And I never had the intention of like getting a car note buy like a loan buying it I was like no but like wow that would be an amazing car to have and one of my customers came through at the oil shop and they had one and it was like it appeared in my life and it's so odd to me that things like that pop up in your life later and it's like I no longer even want that but it popped up in my life in a very odd way and so I'll be standing in Lower Bay thinking, trying to think in very vague terms, but specifics. Like thinking, okay, I want to attract um, health, wealth, and an abundance of everything. Happiness, money, whatever. Um, and trying to put myself in the place of where I have that. And uh, right now I think is the happiest I've ever been in my life. And I can say that with complete, like, I know I know a lot of the shit that I say on this channel is corny. But it is true. I've never been happier. But there are still things that I'm trying to attract. And it's like, wow, I don't think I spend nearly enough time thinking from the standpoint of if I already had this or, or I do already have this, you know. And um, recently I got sick, and I'm the biggest baby when I get sick. Like, really, I really am. If you ask Angela, she will tell you, biggest baby ever when sick. It's just true. 
And uh, I kept saying, oh, I'm so sick. I'm sick. Like, and I just kept saying it, and I got sicker and sicker and sicker. And I got better. I mean, it was just a cold. But it's funny because she's actually sick right now. She's got the same bug. And uh, she's like, oh, I don't get sick. I don't get sick. Like, she's sick, but she's like, I don't get sick. And it's like seeing her manipulate the universe in that way is like, wow. You know, like, it, it kind of made me think about this note. And it also was like, oh, okay, yeah. Act as if you have what you want. Act as if you have it now. Think the thoughts that you would have. Be grateful for it before it even comes. And it will come. But it just really struck a chord with me. I'd be interested to know how many of you actually get the notes from the universe. Um, and if you do, when you saw this one, what did you think? Because for me, I had to read it. And I only read them once, and then I let it marinate. And then I think about it, and I think about it, and then I read them again. And it's like, wow. It's interesting. It really is. Um, and I know that the law of attraction works. But I almost never dwell from, not upon, the space that I want to inherit. But when I do, I don't know. I remember when I was back in PA and, and we were looking for a mattress. Needed a mattress. Just like a good mattress. And I was like, I want, you know, I, I want a king size mattress. I want it to be a pillow top and I don't want to pay more than $300 for it. Right? So I was like walking into this place where my uncle actually works. He sells furniture. And, um, uh, Shauna's mom thought I was crazy. Shauna thought I was a little crazy. But I was like, no, I'm like, I'm because they were pointing out mattresses that were smaller, cheaper. And I was like, no, I want what I want. And I like held on to it. I was so determined. And I remember them calling me stubborn and blah, blah, blah. And my uncle comes over and he goes, you know what? Let me check in the back. And he checked in the back and he found a mattress under $300, king size pillow top. And it was like really weird. And I was like, wow, I acted, I walked in as if they were going to have the mattress that I wanted. And they did. And it was amazing. So try it on something little to build confidence. Like in the, in the secret, when you watch the secret, they tell you, try to attract a cup of coffee to yourself today. Well, for Angela, that would be really easy because we always have coffee made. But something small. Start with something small. Try and attract um, a good parking spot. Or something little. Because something like that you're going to be able to attract to yourself every single time. And when I say something small, I don't mean a small diamond ring. Or a small, you know, something that would be hard to come to you. But start with something that is unlikely to happen. Try, try and uh, attract a stranger smiling at you today. And I know it sounds weird. Like, oh, I don't want a creepy stranger to smile at me. But try it. Because you will be amazed at what you can bring into your life by using your thoughts. I never, if you had asked me a year ago if I would ever live in Michigan, I would have told you there is no way in hell. There is no way. You, all I, all I focused on was wanting to be happy. That's all I focused on for the past few years, really, when I've tried to attract things to myself is health, wealth, and happiness and abundance of all of them. Because in leveraging the universe, Mike Dooley that's what he talks about. He's like, let that be your mantra. And it's very vague. And if there are specific things that you want, dwell on those. And you will attract them. But for the most part, your mantra can be vague. And whenever you get stressed out, start thinking about your mantra. Because that's what I do in Lower Bay. Um, when I'm standing there waiting for a call or something, I'll just close my eyes and I will dwell on health, wealth, and abundance, and happiness, and an abundance of all. And I just, it's va it's vague, but the worst case scenario, I attract happiness into my life. And I don't get to choose the way that things are going to happen anyway. I don't get to choose the steps that the universe is going to take in my journey to get me to where I want to be. I don't get to choose that. So focusing on the how and the why and the who, and, 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 and the who is like, yikes, it's not going to work. Focus on the end result. Put yourself there and start thinking, what I need to practice more is start thinking like I am there. 
Start thinking like I already have things that I want. Start thinking like I'm already making enough money to pay the bills. Start thinking about things like that so that they will come. So, uh, okay, I'm over 10 minutes, so I need to wrap this up. But um, I missed you guys. I hope that you're well. Um, I hope that you guys are still following uh, Mike Dooley and the notes from the universe because even when I'm not making videos, I'm still getting the notes from the universe and I'm still benefiting from them. And honestly, like I still think about you guys. So don't think that just because I'm not making videos that I'm not missing my peeps and thinking about you guys. Um, I do have a new blog. I'm going to put the link in the doobly doo and um, you guys can go ahead and check that out. It's basically a blog about me cleaning my apartment, but there's also other stuff that I add in. Um, and it's just kind of a blog that I've been actually actively blogging and, um, actually doing entries. So feel free to check that out. Obviously, um, you guys that know me, know me well, know that I tweet. So check out my Twitter because that's where you'll see a lot of pictures and a lot of little quick updates about what I'm doing and so on and so forth. But recently I haven't been spending a lot of time on the internet because I've been out living and I hope that you guys are doing the same. I really and genuinely wish each and every one of you happiness. I hope that you guys are good. Um, I definitely want to hear from you. Um, I, ho I hope that all is well with each and every one of you. So I'm going to have to bend over to turn this off. That's going to be very awkward, actually. Let me see. All right. I don't know if this is going to work, but much love. Peep out. It didn't work.